Now, when you load in, this is what happens. I mean, it loads up the whole map so you can see Africa, North America, and all that stuff. So I'm going to zoom in where our project is going to be. It's going to be somewhere in Uganda. That's where I am from. And you're going to be drawing a network all the way from, from Impala here, where we have an interchange here running all the way to the north. Running all the way to the north, okay? And it will terminate around here. So just to give you an idea of a number of things, one is we have the tab on the right, it's called the Explorer. So the Explorer, you have something called scenarios. Now scenarios are things which, they are like just, you know, the normal term. What are scenarios? Scenarios are just different iterations of what you've already created. So let's say you have um, the base here, the future here. So those are gonna be just different scenarios here. So you have the data tables, you have the general tab. Now under the general tab, you have the charts, uh, which are the XY charts, the histograms, the functions. You have the matrices here where you can um, have the zone values, the zone partitions, we shall look at this when we get there. Then you have the network. So under the network, you have the table of vehicles, the table of the nodes, you have under transit, you have the transit lines, you have the scenario comparisons. This is comparing the different scenarios. And then you have the road, the base network, the volume delay functions, and all. Okay, then afterwards you have the views. So you can save different views. So you can, uh, for example, let's say this is a view you want to start with. Uh, maybe let, let, let me create a view here. A view that's showing everything that I have drawn. Okay, something along the lines here. So the number of ways. So you can right click views and you're like save active view. So this I'm going to just name it as zoom E, zoom extent. I'm just using AutoCAD settings. Just showing my whole network, okay? And that's good. So that means when you double click zoom extent, it comes back to this, okay? So maybe let's say, let's create one for this other junction. So I'm gonna create one for the trumpet because I want to look at what's happening at the trumpet. I'll create a new view, I'll save active view, and I'll just name this uh, IC2, because this is, it stands for interchange number two, and I'm gonna create one for IC3, because it's a bit long. I, I don't wanna keep panning the way I am right now. So I'm gonna just name this IC3, okay? So let's name this save active view, IC3, and then finally we're going to have IC1, which is at the top. Okay, so I can just type zoom E and then I just zoom in here where we have IC3, IC1. So this is IC1 and I'm going to just type in IC1. So active view as IC1. That's lovely. Okay, so that's, 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 that's what the views do. So you can keep moving between the different views. Now media is online maps and here you can add the different maps. So what I want to do is I want to add the topographic. I really love the topographic. So when you double click it, it's going to load it. And if you turn off the background layers, you have the topographic map, okay? So that's the base map. So you can add the terrain if you want. You can add the satellite imagery, which is good. Uh, this is going to be an open strip map image. Okay, so you have the different maps here. That's what I was talking about. So you have the different maps here and you've laid them up. So again, they still work with active views as I showed you. So you can easily click there and you load the map for that. And zoom extent loads up the map for a whole that I prefer. Let's, let's work with the topo, the topo map. That seems a good start, okay? So now we've finished seeing what the Explorer is about. So then you have this other toolbar here. It shows you the modeler. The modeler is what is where we do a number of things in terms of modeling. Uh, this is where we add the matrices in, we import data in, we put in a number of stuff. So then we have the logbook. This shows how things are, what you've so far done. Um, when you have outputs, uh, we have the notebook. The number of things you can do in the notebook, I'll show later. You have scenes, you can show the different scenes. My logbook is empty. We have agents, we have the network editor. If you click the network editor, it's gonna load up the network editor. So you have different tabs here. 
So I didn't talk about this. You have the start tab, you have the general worksheet. So general worksheet is where we were. The start tab is the initial one. And then obviously the network editor where you can now start drawing uh, the network, okay? You can be like, okay, let me start drawing the network here. And again, the views work with the network editor, okay? So then after that, you have print, the normal things, navigate backwards, forwards, pointer tool, move tool, zoom, magnifier, fine tool, rulers. This is good in measuring, in case you need to measure something, just confirm. But since we, we have everything, uh, this is this is just showing the minimap and all. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's, 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 that's the main tool by here. And when you look at the different things here, we are going to look at what the network editor does after this in the next lesson. But for now, I'm just showing you, these are the different tabs. Now on the right hand side, you just control what you can view. That's the purpose of this. You can take things on and off if you've drawn links, if you've drawn nodes, if you've had foreground layers and other inclusions. And this is just showing information in regards. Then at the bottom here is where you have your toolbar that's showing different things. Let's say the mods, the transit vehicles, the links, the turns, the transit lines, and the transit segments. Okay, so we're going to skip it at mods so you can add a car or something. And we're going to look at the network editor next. So again, in the edit tab, the number of things you can do in the edit tab, we shall look at them. Same thing with the view tab, you can have the aspect ratio set, you can change this special reference, I prefer to use this. You can save the active view. You can again access some of the things you access to the toolbar. We have the tools here, the number of things. You have the model shell. You can have shapefile to im conversions. So you can get a shapefile and bring it in and you know, it's converted to im. This is in regards you've got it from another software. So I'm assuming maybe you've had AIMSAN, you've had Saturn or any of the other softwares that people use with Zoom and all that, so you can bring that in as a shape file. And then here we just have the window tab showing a number of things in regards to operator diagnostics and all that. And here we have the help. The help is quite really important. So if you really want to uh, become good at modeling, um, you're going to try and make sure you use the help. And this is something I really liked about their help. Um, it's done in such a way that it's really good in regards to how you want. So we have the desktop manual and you can look at a number of things. You can say modifying worksheets, editing the network. I'm um, showing you the network editor. It's going to take you through everything. Okay, it's going to show you how you draw this network, how you do that. And my purpose in this video is just to try and take you quickly through some of those things. And hopefully we save a lot of time.